Everybody knows that trademark registration is the best way to protect your brand. But did you know that registering a trademark in the United States has a lot more benefits aside from just preventing other people from using your business name? Stay tuned, because I'm gonna tell you about the benefits of trademark registration and why it's so important to file a trademark application early on in your business. Hi everyone, I'm attorney Aiden Durham with 180 Law Co in Colorado and welcome back to All Up In Your Business. So registering a trademark has a lot more benefits outside of just you know what we think of in preventing someone else from using our business name. There's a lot more that goes into why you want to register a trademark for your business. Before we get into all of that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check the description for links to additional information and resources. You can download my free Introduction to Trademarks Guide and learn more about my all-inclusive trademark registration package or my online DIY trademark course. All right, so why is trademark registration so important? In the United States, trademark rights arise as soon as you start using a trademark in connection with the sale of your goods or services. This happens automatically as soon as you start using your trademark in commerce. At that point, you already have trademark rights and you can exclude people from using the same or a similar trademark in connection with the sale of the same or related goods or services in your geographic area. So if we already have those rights, What's it matter if we register the trademark with the USPTO? Well, the number one benefit of trademark registration is that it expands those rights nationwide. Unregistered trademarks, those rights are specific to the geographic area or areas where you've actually used the trademark. This may not be that big of a deal for brick and mortar local businesses where you're only serving your community or your city or only doing work for people in a specific area. But if you're online or if your business operates in multiple states, if you have customers all over the place, you want that nationwide protection and that's what trademark registration does. It expands those rights nationwide throughout the United States. So this is super important for businesses that operate online or if you have plans to expand your business into other areas. Trademark registration also makes it cheaper and easier to enforce those rights if you need to. Once you file a trademark application with the USPTO, the details go into the USPTO's public database and the application becomes public record. This provides notice to the public that you own and have the exclusive rights to use that trademark, regardless of if somebody actually knows about it. So even if someone uses your trademark totally in good faith, they had no idea your business existed, they didn't knowingly use your trademark or infringe on your trademark, Having it in the USPTO database is constructive notice. That's what we call it in the legal world, constructive notice. So even if someone didn't do a search, the fact that it's there avoids any kind of good faith defense to trademark infringement. It's also gonna just discourage people from using that trademark or something similar to it. Even before your trademark's registered, it's gonna be in that public database with the USPTO. If somebody else is out there thinking about using a certain name, hopefully they're going to do a search of the USPTO or have their lawyer do a search, a clearance search to make sure that name's available. If they come across your application or your registration on the USPTO, that will encourage people to hopefully change their branding, change to a different name that isn't the same as yours or quite so similar to yours. So right off the bat, having a registered trademark is gonna help to discourage people from using the same or a similar mark, and it's gonna make sure that any potential infringing use can't be excused because the person just didn't know about you. They have to have known about you because you were on the USPTO. You also just get stronger rights overall with a registered trademark. Under federal law, a trademark registration is considered prima facie evidence. Say it with me, prima facie evidence. Evidence of 
the validity of the trademark, your ownership of it, and your exclusive right to use it. Prima facie means kind of a rebuttable presumption of your rights. So if there ever is an issue regarding trademark infringement, it's the other party's responsibility, their obligation to disprove the validity of your trademark or your trademark ownership or your right to exclude other people from using it. The other party has the burden of proving contrary to your rights. With an unregistered trademark, that burden is on you as the trademark owner. You have to prove this is my trademark, this is a valid ownership, and you have to prove the extent of your rights in that trademark. And after five years of trademark registration, a trademark is considered to be incontestable. This means that certain aspects of the trademark can't be challenged after five years of registration. After five years, the trademark registration becomes conclusive evidence not just prima facie evidence, conclusive evidence of the validity of your trademark, your ownership of it, and your exclusive rights to use it. So it makes that burden on the other person or the other party that much greater if they want to challenge those rights. This can result in significant savings if you're ever involved in some kind of a trademark infringement lawsuit. Initially, as soon as you've got a registered trademark, you get to use that little R in a circle symbol anywhere you use your trademark. And this gives notice to the general public of your registered trademark. This can give more credibility to your brand and it's a, even more of a deterrence to keep people from using something similar or the same as your trademark because now they know it's actually a registered trademark. You also get the benefit of the USPTO kind of doing some work for you and policing your trademark. Now, the USPTO is not gonna go out there and send cease and desist letters on your behalf. They're not gonna sue people for trademark infringement. But if somebody else tries to register a trademark that's the same as yours or confusingly similar, the USPTO is going to deny that registration. Anytime there's a new trademark application, the USPTO compares it to other registered trademarks. And if they are confusingly similar, then they won't allow it to be registered. So it takes a little bit of that burden and that duty off of you. You still need to take steps to enforce and, and monitor and maintain your trademark registration. But at least once it's registered, the USPTO is gonna do a little bit of that policing and monitoring for you. You also get enhanced damages, statutory damages, sometimes trouble damages, and you might get awarded attorney's fees in situations of willful counterfeiting with a registered trademark. And the final benefit of having a registered trademark with the USPTO is that it gives you more options for taking action against uh, domain name registrations or names on online marketplaces like Amazon or Etsy. If you have a registered trademark and somebody else purchases the domain name for that trademark or something really similar to it, you're gonna have a much easier time taking some action against whoever owns that domain name. Same goes for online platforms like Amazon or Etsy. If someone opens a store or a merchant account with a name that's the same or similar to your registered trademark, these platforms and these domain name registrars and website hosting platforms, they have processes in place for handling trademark infringement and intellectual property disputes like this. And if you can prove to them that you have a trademark registration with the USPTO, that's gonna make it immensely easier to get them to remove that listing or remove that seller account or suspend or remove that website or that domain. So overall, trademark registration has a lot of benefits. Of course, it you know, prevents other people from using your trademark. That's the primary reason we do it. But not only does it prevent people from doing that, it makes enforcement of it a lot easier and a lot less expensive in many circumstances. It means you might get additional awards or different damages if there is some kind of a trademark issue in a lawsuit. 
and it gives you more options for policing and enforcing your trademark rights. That's all for this episode, folks. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. And again, don't forget to check the description for links to additional information and resources. You can download my free Introduction to Trademarks guide if you want a little bit more of an overview of what a trademark is and how it works. If you are looking to register a trademark, check out Brand Bombshell, which is my all-inclusive trademark registration package where I handle the entire application and registration process for you. Or if you're on a tighter budget, you can check out Brandish, which is my online DIY course where I teach you step-by-step -step how to prepare for and file a trademark application with the USPTO without a lawyer. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Aiden Durham, and I'll see you next time.